Thank you for calling TD Card Services. To continue in English, press 1. Hey, what are you doing? TD Card Services. My name is Andre. I'm at to you today. Uh, yes, Andre. I'd like to, to see about canceling my uh, credit card. Sir, I would, sorry, we hate to lose your business, uh, uh, but I, I would be more than happy to assist you in reference to canceling uh, your account. May I have your card number in order to access your account, please? Yeah, may I ask uh, the reason you'd like to cancel your account today? Um, mainly because of the illegal freezing of people's accounts without due process from Canada. Well, you can see by my wonderful hairdo that <laughs> I woke up just before work and before taking a shower to make uh, this quick video. As you can see in this video, uh, which I zoomed in to, to cover my super fat stomach. And oh my God, I've gotten so fat. It's pathetic. Um, I've done the one small thing that I can actually do at this point concerning uh, the way uh, Canada and its corporations are treating people. Uh, I canceled my TD Bank uh, credit card. I don't use it heavily, but uh, I have used it in the past. And I don't think I want to do any business with any Canadian banks uh, any further. Uh, this is in relation to Trudeau illegally and without any due process whatsoever, using wartime acts, basically, to stop a pretty much a peaceful protest, a very annoying one. No doubt it was very annoying and very troublesome for, for them and for many people. Uh, but pretty much a peaceful process, uh, a, a, a peaceful protest uh, by basically um, freezing accounts with the banks who were more than happy to uh, freeze the accounts uh, without any form of due process whatsoever. Uh, and pretty much can end up either stealing these people's money or or taking their money away or whatever. Uh, I have no faith in Trudeau or Canada or anything. Uh, I believe uh, this man is basically a dictator of some form, or at least uh, that he's definitely an authoritarian. And, you know, Canada is Canada. They can do their own damn business however they want, and if they can't get rid of their garbage, because we've got plenty of garbage here in America we need to get rid of too... Uh, the only thing I could do is choose not to do business with TD Bank, which is a Canadian bank which did freeze funds, including uh, funds for someone who gave a $50 donation through Give, Send, Go. Uh, basically gave a $50 donation, Give, Send, Go. Uh, I think it's a mother of four children uh, who's now hauled all her money frozen. She did this before uh, even Canada said this was an illegal protest because any protest that goes against Trudeau is illegal automatically. Um uh, and uh, it just shows what kind of garbage is running that country right now and actually is running a lot of our countries right now. So I, uh, you know, you all, you all make your own decisions. Uh, it's all up to you how you want to handle things. Uh, if you're happy with TD Bank or if you agree with the way uh, Canada is treating this kind of situation, then you do as you uh, uh, you do as you wish. I mean, now that I saw how their stormtroopers uh went in there and pretty much smashed their way through uh, when they easily, with peaceful protesters, could basically have gone in there and say, hey, your point is made. You're going to have to leave now or we're going to arrest all of you right now. And they said, fine. You take them, handcuff them, and arrest them. You don't beat them down. Sorry. Don't work that way. Uh, apparently, uh, you know, that's just the way they're going to do it. So you make your own decisions. This was my own little tiny part that I could do to show that uh, I'm completely against Canada on this. I'm 100% against TD Bank, and I will not do uh, any business uh, with any bank or any uh, any group that's going to treat people like this. Um, and that's all I have to say on this. Pretty out.